Karen Fukuhara, you need to watch this video. You have to listen to this. I'm sure you know how fortunate you are to voice Alexis in Craig of the Creek because we do not have a lot of good roles for actors of color in front of the camera. And one of the great advantages of voice acting, apart from the fact that you can sound like nearly any age you want, is that you do not always have to be the same skin color as the character you're voicing. Christy Reed was kind enough to cast you for Alexis's voice when she could have cast uh, any other white voice actress around your age. This is why Anna Akana is just as fortunate as you to play Sasha Waybright in Amphibia. Congratulations on earning that IMDb Star Meter Award on May 15th, 2021. You earned it, girl. You've come a long way in six years. You started your acting career in Suicide Squad, which was filmed from April 13th, 2015 to August 24th, 2015, and premiered in theaters on August 1st, 2016. Then you acted in The Lost, a 20-minute short film from AT&T, and then you scored your first animated television role with Cartoon Network when you got to voice Alexis and Sewer Queen in Craig of the Creek. It served as a good launching pad for you to get bigger and better parts like Glimmer in the she reboot, Kimiko in The Boys, and Kaipo in Kaipo and the Age of Wonder Beasts. Sewer Queen has a dynamic character and an interesting personality, but I'm worried about Alexis because we don't know much about her. She just feels like the type of character who's been told by the animators to just stand there and look pretty because she is Bernard's girlfriend. Karen Fukuhara, please uh, answer me this. Did Matt Burnett and Ben Levin add Alexis into Craig of the Creek's pilot because they were so impressed with your performance of the Sewer Queen that they wanted to give you another character to voice as a first time voice actress? Or did you ask them to make a slightly bigger part for you, you know, because Alexis would become a slightly uh, bigger part than Sewer Queen in the long term because Craig of the Creek was your first animated television show as a voice actress and you wanted to do more than just voice the Sewer Queen. Think about it. It's really disappointing about Alexis because there are many different facets of her personality that we could explore. That we could explore a little better. In Turning the Tables, she was really good at mapping out multiple 15-year plans for her and Bernard to earn money to pay for college and become humanitarian leaders of the world. And in Creature Feature, she was very smart and brave and a really big help to Craig and Bernard in fighting off the Swamp Monster. Alexis's presence also raises some interesting questions like, did Alexis go to the creek when she was a little girl? Did she stop going to the creek before or after she met Bernard? And your personal favorite question, did Alexis become friends with the Sewer Queen when they were shorter little girls like uh, Jessica and Kelsey?
I know Alexis might be more important to me than she is to you because she was just the beginning of your voice acting career, but from where we stand now, Alexis and Sewer Queen from Craig of the Creek are still your longest lasting roles after she Ron and Kaipo in the Age of Wonder Beasts ended. And it would be a real pity if Craig of the Creek ended before you got to do anything new with Alexis. <laughs> I feel really sad for you because because why would Craig of the Creek give you your first voiceover opportunity in a television series to play a character who isn't your race if you don't get anything cool or interesting to do with her? It'll be really sad to see Craig of the Creek waste you like that because I'm afraid that Alexis might not have as much of an impact on Craig of the Creek viewers who don't follow your filmography as she has with you since she and Sewer Queen started your filmography next to Suicide Squad and Lost. Still though, um, I think if you really ask them to do so, you could get Craig of the Creek's writers to give Alexis some episodes of her own in present and future seasons to come. I know seasons four and five are mostly going to be about Craig, Kelsey, and JP exploring the farthest outreaches of the creek after they got King Xavier to stop being the king of the other side, but it would be really nice if you also incorporated Alexis into some of their adventures. Maybe she... Maybe she lives beyond the edge of the other side and they accidentally discover their house or they find out that she lives next to some other kids that they know from the creek. Even if she never went to the creek as a little kid, I still think she would go now if Craig invited her, and she's about the same height as JP, so she wouldn't have a hard time walking around in their underground stump hideouts. And because Alexis is uh, twice the height of Kelsey, I think she'd make a really good uh, bodyguard and warrior partner for her, and they have contrasting personalities that play off of each other very well. Kelsey is the more aggressive one, whereas uh, Alexis is uh, the nicer, calmer one of the two girls. Two warrior girls. I'd love to see what you can convince Craig of the Creek writers to do for new storylines focusing on Alexis, especially if Gibson is involved because he really stole the show for me in Council of the Creek and Creature Feature and Jeff Trammell sounded like he had a lot of fun voicing him. I'm not trying to cause any problems, but the dance will be so much more fun. With a photo booth, or a bounce house, or a photo booth bounce house. We live like kings! If Craig of the Creek's writers really know what they're doing with Alexis, then any episode focusing on Alexis and her life outside of Bernard and Craig will be way more interesting than the close enough episode, World's Greatest Teacher, which quickly stood out in a bad way for it, lacking the same surreal energy of most other regular show and close enough episodes before it. The main conflict is that Mr. Timothy Campbell wants to sabotage a new music teacher, River Lake, and then he competes with her in a karaoke match to become Candace Singleton's greatest teacher. Not a good look for a close enough episode focusing on a side character. Amphibia did much better with Maddie and Marcy in the episode Maddie and Marcy, of course. 
I know a few actors like you who who were so talented and powerful that they enhanced their characters into being something far more interesting than into something far greater than they were originally envisioned to be. In Hercules, James Woods did such a great job voicing Hades that he was rewritten to be a much more comical villain than originally intended. And Cheyenne Jackson did an equally good job carrying the same type of performance for Hades in Descendants 3. In Boy Meets World, Daniel Fischel was so good at playing Michelle Topanga that uh, after she was just intended to be a guest role, Daniel Fischel's performance of the character was so endearing that the showrunners of Boy Meets World promoted Michelle Topanga to a main character in the middle of season one. How cool is that? The point is, I know you are just as talented as them because you proved your worth as an actress in, and the true value of your talent in The Boys in Kaipo and Age of Wonder Beasts, and you have the IMDb Star Meter Award you got on, you won on May 15th, 2021 to prove it to Craig of the Creek's writers. If you really want to persuade them to make new episodes focusing on Alexis in seasons four and five. Kelsey and JP are Craig's best friends, but they also have their own stuff going on outside of being his friends and and uh, they've had their fair share of episodes with storylines focusing on them and uh, their life at home. So, I see no reason that Craig of the Creek cannot do the same type of character focus with Alexis once in a while. I mean, sure, she's uh, closer with Bernard than she is with Craig for obvious reasons, but she's come to their house enough times that uh, I think she is ready to have a few new episodes of primary focus, and uh, you should tell Matt Burnett and Ben Levin what I told you just now, because I would really love to see some new Craig of the Creek episodes focusing on Alexis as long as they remember to include Craig for one line of dialogue, which Maddie and Marcy remembered to do for Anne Sprigg. Karen Fukuhara, if you watched my motivational speech to the end, I happily applaud you for making it to the end of this urgent video message. And if you really enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment telling me what you think of my video fan message to you. Thanks for watching. When it starts going to bed, I know You don't have to feel alone Cause I'll see you tomorrow at the creek We start going to the creek, the creek It's time to go into the creek, the creek We start going tomorrow at the creek just like I drew it.